The phone rang. It was a thing that had been sitting here, black and quiet like a holstered gun, unlisted, unknown to anybody, used only for local outgoing calls, and when it was triggered, it had the soft, muted sound of a silenced automatic. The first ring was a warning round. The second time would be death calling. Eight months ago, I had come to Florida to die. The two bullets I had caught in the firefight under the West Side Drive had churned into bodily areas that weren't made to be violated like that. And the blood that had spilled out of me was just too much. So the others, the walking wounded and the repairable, were taken care of first by the few medics who got to the battleground early. The dead and dying were pushed aside or isolated in the section of no return. The temperature was six below zero, and it kept me from dying on the spot because the blood coagulated and clotted in ugly smears of cloth and skin, and the pain hadn't started yet. So when the little fat guy who saw my eyes open and still bright pulled me away from the carnage, he was almost in the shock I was going into. Nobody would listen to him. He was a drunk. I was nearly dead. Oh, my God.